Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor Siege Battle for you today. And as you can see, we have Lindon here again, fighting against two evil armies. We have Isengard over here, and we have the Runic army over there. And for some reason they are in Harad, of the Elves. How they ever captured Harad, we will never know. But um, we have straight away a sally out by the Noldorian Equestrians. I think there's two units over here. You know, make, make that three, and then we have two over there. So we're going to see some absolute chaos going on from the initial charges of the equestrian. So we'll get a good view of this. As they're going after crossbows here, some nice easy targets. But this one was sent in by a member of the Discord and a sub. So if you want to join the Discord, please do. The link will be down below in the description. And this one did get titled Epic. So we will have to see for ourselves whether this one is indeed Epic and deserves the title. But, uh, I mean, the balance of power massively not in favor of the elves. The numbers are very much against them. But, as we've seen in past battles, that does not matter to them. We are yet to see the elves actually lose in a uh, replay so far. They still go undefeated. Well, certainly both Linden and Woodland Realm. They both are very, very strong and have survived. But we will have to see in this one whether they can do the same. So you can see here more Noldorian questions going after the... Uh, crossbows. But I mean, they're, they're not easy to kill, these crossbows. They're pretty uh, pretty strong. Over here, we've got the Bane of the Steps already fighting against uh, these Noldorian Equestrians. I'd certainly be wanting to get these Loki Rim Macemen off the walls, and to, uh, off the tower, sorry, and helping against these uh, Equestrians. I mean, this is actually a triple gold chevron. You know, they're going to do just fine. It's Shock versus Melee. And over here, they've, certainly these things have done a lot better at dealing with this... Uh, Cavalry, which they're going to do because I don't think Isengard's got any uh, cavalry himself, so he's going to be able to do just that. But uh, in Umbar, there is another little secret area that you can uh, offload troops. And obviously, before you couldn't really deploy, and uh, then like the replay wouldn't work. So this like area over here just was luck if someone spawned here, or I think if it was it's three players. But now, because obviously you can just deploy and it will work with the replays, uh, Umbar is kind of like little secret area works now so now you can threaten over here so I mean it looks like Rune is going to drop troops over here and he's going to be one that's going to threaten this side we've got Noldorian spears Noldorian swords already and we've got archers over here as well and this should be more than enough I would imagine to deal with all of the uh, runic troops here which is pretty sad to think about really um, but I mean the elves are pretty uh, stretched pretty thin so I mean if they can focus down some areas the uh, evil faction they could do a lot of damage and for some reason they've got their archers all the way back here off the walls when these walls here would be a much better area to use get on these walls here and you can focus on these units I mean they are still actually beating these guys in combat Loki or Amazement against these Noldorian swords is never gonna end well same over on this side but the units as you can see as I've just mentioned are on the wall already so we have the Noldorian uh, swords are gonna do their little bit chop away and uh, face down some runic troops I'm hoping to do some last alliance um, esque battles soon. It's obviously the Noldorian troops look very much like the Last Alliance uh, style troops. And uh, so we'll get like the Battle of the Dead Marshes and the Battle of uh, well, the Last Alliance as well. The one that actually takes down Sauron um, to work. I will have to see whether we can get Sauron actually, like the Sauron unit into um, the battle. Because there is a mod that allows you to add Sauron. And we could have add some others but Sauron's the main one we need to add. Oh, that was a brutal shot by Arch Tower there. Friendly fire, killing one of his own men. And there you go. So yeah, this uh, unit already of Loki and Macemen already going to uh, be routed by mainly because I think because of the help of these archers. They've used a considerable amount of their ammo up already, just firing at those uh, that one unit. Over here we have a breach down, and I'm going to see these berserkers uh, coming through. Yep, lots of berserkers. A very good unit focusing down with arrows as well because well. As you can see, they've got a lack of armor. I do like that they still have like the the Attila, like war cries and like stuff like that. So you can just hear like a barbarian from the berserkers just saying "kill, kill them all" or like "kill them" or whatever they say. And it's like, yes, that's definitely a uh, what a berserker would sound like. Um, but yeah, they're taking a little bit more time on like saying up. I mean, you can see why. There's the uh, questions are still back here. This one's still fresh. 60 men left. These ones are finally being routed. 
Um, a lot of damage done. They have got white hand sappers here. I don't know how they've used the ammo. Do they? I don't know what exactly their ammo is. Is it just like fire bombs? Quite possibly. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly. How is this unit still alive? But I mean, I've just realised that these Noldorian questions are triple bronze chevron on their uh, on their own. Um, has he got this one hidden? It is now hidden, so they can't actually see this. Can the uh, Isengard forces? Which I mean, they look pretty thinned out already. They do look pretty thinned out already. But I mean, I have a feeling that the White Hand Stormers could do quite a good job against these uh, Noldorian swords, which is only a small unit left. I don't know how this has happened here. Twenty-two of them left. Did they get focused down by something? Or I don't know. Um, over here, I imagine these shock infantry should break through eventually. Shock does very well at the moment against uh, spears. It's like the counter to spears. So eventually these guys should break through. I think some archers could help. Could certainly help uh, wheel these guys down, damage their HP. You'll get through a lot quicker. But look at that line. That's a solid line there. I just love the blades of the elves. They're so uh, so cool. It's like almost if you just chop the sword, like half the like the wooden part of the spear off, like the hilt, I guess you call it. You still have like a sword to use. Like that blade is huge. Um, yeah, as you can see here, go up onto the walls. Uh, yeah, those twenty-two Noldorian swords did not last long. And they're desperately trying to send this one along the walls. I'd be uh, trying to get troops off. Get troops off the wall. Uh, then you can flank around and this spear unit's very uh, vulnerable. And you can start to see it's losing, starting to lose now. Um, they've got archers back here. You can see the Sand of Land more Urukai over here as well. We've got uh, Noldorian swords moving up. Apparently these guys were hidden. They were hidden all, all until about the moment they just appeared on the wall. Not quite sure how that was the case, but okay. Um, but yeah, there's some nice little uh, capture points for them to go out and take. There's this one up here. Obviously, there's the main one back here. And there's another one over here by this light lighthouse. Almost, it is a lighthouse. Um, so they've got some quite good ones. Oh, and over here, I should have checked. They've done a very good job in flanking around has... Uh, well, as Rune. And he's actually annihilated some of these units. He's kept this force quite fresh. And yeah, he's annihilated these uh, Noldorian troops. And, well, this area over here... It's freed up. They can now make an assault, basically, across this bridge here. This is going to be the only bridge that can come across. Um, and they can go straight for the main capture point. The enemy general is dead? They've killed Isengard's general already? Jeez. That is a massive hit to Isengard. That is, that is shocking. I am, like, surprised. I'm surprised that, like, they didn't send the rest of the cavalry over here. The cavalry desperately needs to go over here and now help. The teammates need to work together. Get over here and uh, help take out this uh, cavalry. This has been a nuisance all game so far. They've still got pikes, which is going to be huge. If they can use these pikes well. That'll be excellent because, I mean, well, they've got no reply to it. Apart from archers, they've got no reply to it. They need to get these guys off the wall. These are just, this is a blob. And these uh, archers over here will just take easy pickings from that. Um, troops are losing decisively, even though they're fighting uh, spears. That's kind of weird. Yeah, the Berserkers are doing well. They are through. But it won't be long till they break through. It's a very thin line. It already was to start with. Um, you can see here, yeah, it's just being swarmed. This unit, oh, this is Mordor Rabble. I was thinking, this unit here, this is a fresh unit, is wavering, but it's Mordor Rabble. I think it got given the duty of sending up some of the equipment. Um, so yeah, no surprise that's routing already. But there you go, you can see losing decisively. Not drawing the questions. I mean, these uh, crossbows are wavering already. But yeah, losing that general could be huge. Um, I'm good. Well, I mean, the other one's pretty safe. He's a gold chevron bane in the steps. But you want to keep him pretty safe anyway. Don't want to run any risks. And they're setting over more troops over here. Ah, oh, there's a bridge here as well. I didn't see this one. So they can come across. And they're going to have to take on these archers. Get some shock infantry in here if they've got any. Have they got any? Yeah, send these Varag Warriors in, and you'll rinse through these uh, Noldorian archers. And um, they might need to send more over to deal with this uh, Noldorian sword. So here, they've not finished the job, and they're, but they're quite happily sending everything else over. But I mean, well done to Rune so far. He's done a really good job. Um, but yeah, I mean, these Noldorian archers could have held their own here. I think they just want to use the rest of their, their ammo. They've only lost six of them. 
Here we go. We're going to see a charge here. They're, they're falling back. They don't want to face the Noldorian swords just yet. These things still look excellent, though, I will admit. And then you're being chased by just an excellent unit of Noldorian swords. And there we go. They finally have clashed. The Noldorian swords caught them. I guess the Loki rim was a little bit too tired. And there we go. There you go. You can see them a bit better with the sun beating down on them. Oh. Excellent. Poor man there. Rip in peace. Barry the Easterling. He's dead. They destroyed the gates. Hey, so what, what was their plan? Ah, so they destroyed this gate with the Mordor Rabble, which is now routing. Or more Mordor Rabble. Finally, that cavalry's nearly gone. Uh, though it's been a real issue. It's nearly killed all these White Hand Sappers before they've really done anything. Um... I don't, yeah, I still don't know to this day. I don't really know what their purpose is. I guess they can blow up walls, but I guess they also, like, throw these, like, they do count as, like, naffatoons. They look a bit like they're going to throw grenades, almost. I don't really know exactly, but, um, yeah, the, the Mordor Rabbles is breaking there, but it's done its duty. You got it rammed to the gate. Um, but, yeah, all of Isengard over here is dead. Um, he's kind of his main force is stuck on this wall over here, and it's coming through this gate here. Um, it's really going to come down to what Rune can do. I think, like massively, I think Isengard needs to slow down a little bit. Let Rune break through these choke points over here. Like, if he breaks through this choke point, which he's going to have to do eventually, that's a really good setup, I've just realized. Excellent setup. Well played by Rune here. I mean, uh, Lindon's doing a good job here. Um, these Loki Rune just have got no chance of beating these archers. But with the support of these archers up here, they should make it a bit easier. They're now focusing down, like, units back here. Loki, uh, Rim, and Varag I'll send these Varag in. They know it need to go in, but I mean that angle. That is excellent, excellent angle. And I, I bet they've already thinning them out. Uh, not really, but they're certainly going to be knocking them down uh, in like HP, bloodying them up, making it easy for the Loki room to kill them. I mean they're losing a few. They've lost four since we've been there. They need to lose a few more. Here we go. So it looks like we're going to have some more Loki room coming off the walls. I mean, the first Loki room unit only managed to kill tw uh, 14 men. I'm not really sure how they ex many they expect to kill. Okay, no, there's a second one. Killed quite a lot of that one. Kind of like, it's like when you're looking at Helm's Deep and you just see all the dead elves. Like when Haldir, like, looks and he just sees all the dead elves. Oh, no, and uh, and Thranduil does it in The Hobbit, I'm pretty sure as well. He sees, like, all his dead elves. And he goes, oh. Maybe we'll retreat now. But, I mean, it's kind of the same here. Like, you can see on the walls, all the dead elves. But, I mean, they've got a lot of reserves still. A lot of spears, though. Um, a lot of their Noldorian swords are nearly used up. Um, but you need to get these pikes inside. Get them inside and start doing some damage. Uh, let's see what these sappers do, then, hey? Let's see what they've got to do. They're going to flank around. Uh, exactly what do they do? Let's find out. Are they just going to go in and charge, aren't they? That's all they're going to do. No, they did some. Oh, they just... Okay. So they're like a flamethrower. And they burnt their own unit? Oh, no. This is... That was just all... Oh, my gosh. They're like a flamethrower unit. They just devastated, like, so many Noldorian swords and spears. That was all elves there. And, like, they're all crisped. Hmm. It looks like crispy, crispy elves on the menu today. But yeah, oh jeez. That was horrendous. I literally have never seen the sappers used before. If I, like, they usually just get focused down like they are currently here. Like this one here. Might as well have gone and finished the job. Just go and throughout these guys. Because they are getting, like, harassed. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's just this tiny unit of archers here. I don't think they're going to make it. Don't think they've got a chance of making it over here. There you go. They all died there and then, basically. Yep, he just... Oh my gosh, yeah, they got focused down and killed. Yep, that Elven player taking no chances with the rest of them coming up. I don't know if they're now bugged out. They're just kind of stood here, doing their own thing. This whole, like, I mean, these pikes seem to do, do something. Was well, everyone just so much in shock and awe at what was going on? I mean, this Cav now inside, that's really good. Um, this Cav can get inside and start, like, harassing old Dorian archers, which it needs to do. Uh, over here, I'm not quite sure how this unit got off the walls, but it did. 
Uh, I mean, it's actually capturing this point. Is this just like a... Or is this the tower? Oh, this is the tower. Ah. that Yeah, that's going to kill a lot of his own men doing that. He lost about 20 men doing that. But now, I mean... I mean, these elves have got to go a long way if they want to get off. They've got to get off over here now. But, I mean, lots of elves are just sitting by and letting the uh, Loki room get off. They've got more Loki... Oh, no, Urukai infantry there. They've still got um, Warlords of Rune to come into another elite shock infantry unit. More spears being sent up. They're desperately trying to get stuff in here to deal with uh, all these issues. And these uh, archers are losing. So are the Cav, I mean, with your support. I send in, yeah, send in the White Hand Stormers. Send in whatever, anything you got left. But Isengard's, yeah, almost spent. It's all here. It's, it's, it's struggling. We'll put it like that. It's struggling. I mean, they're nearly out of ammo, thankfully. They, and there's no supply barrels. Um, did they break that Noldorian sword? I think they did. They, yeah, it's shot, been shot to pieces. Oh dear, yeah. So, well at least they killed that. I mean, that is now leaving this area again very vulnerable. They've got an arch unit here with no ammo. And they can start sending stuff more, more forays across this bridge here. And they can threaten this Noldorian spear in two ways. Excellent. And there's obviously a breach here because this is just how it is aesthetically. And Loki Rim hold these guys in place. And then they can flank around. Oh, over here though, that's... Uh, what was this? I think these guys came down off the wall. And now they're just being flanked by archers. And uh, and swords. Unlucky for them, really. And there they go. I think those macemen are already broken yet. Yeah. They're so hard to kill, those uh, linden swords. And they're starting to make a, uh, the elves are starting to make a relatively, relatively trying to retreat. They're getting some archers back. They're trying to get these spears back. Trying to flank, uh, counter flank the Loki rim. How is it like, look at this. These 26 elves are actually going to take out 50, 51 Loki rim. That is horrendous. They're going to take out another unit. These elves are so veteran up here. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content at the moment. If you have been, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Uh, if you want to see more look, Rise of Mordor stuff, do show your support. And uh, yeah, let's carry on growing this channel. We're doing so well. We hit 1,500 uh, subs this uh, week, and I'm definitely sure we can get to 2,000 in no time. As this majestic unit of Noldorian uh, spears goes by, just love the formations they form. With the spears at different angles. Oh, excellent. But they're taking their time. They could definitely do with hurrying up to surround this Loki rim. I mean, the archers here are going to slow down some of the units. And they've got another arch unit here that might need to go in and block off this choke point here. Keep this Linden Spear unit alive a little longer. I don't think they're going to get there in time, though. I don't know. Oh, jeez. They're actually going to beat a Varag Warrior unit. I mean, they are pretty beaten up. There's another fresh one coming across, though. Balance of power is still not looking good for the elves. And they've lost over half their strength. I mean, so have the enemy, though. And there you go. The elves are uh, stopping this unit. From getting... I pull one of these units out, and I certainly start a flank round and surround this elven unit. So you can then just do a lot more damage. Or just go around and start flanking this one anyway. Because that's surely what the elves are going to do here. Yet yeah. the spears are coming. Is that... Oh, they're actually... Where did that spear unit go? Oh, it's gone back here. Because they're going to send uh, swords in to do the damage. That's going to be even worse. Um, really? I'd definitely be... Oh my gosh, they repulsed, repulsed, repulsed everything over here. Jeez. Uh, struggling with the old speech. I mean, yeah, Isengard's really been spent. He's had a really rough game. His general dying has not helped. Putting all of his troops up here on that wall not helped. Like, you get so many off here, offload them off here, we'd have broken through. But yeah, I'm sure these archers are racked with a load of kills. Focusing down on Isengard up here. We make up most of the side, like most of the stuff up here is Isengard. And probably most of the corpses are Isengard. Like these guys would have broken so long ago if it hadn't been for those archers. And they're finally getting more stuff for pulling the walls here. We've got Urukai infantry, Warlords of Rune. They might need to start getting these Loki Rim in and actually doing some work. We've got some more Warlords of Rune here. With triple, uh, yeah, triple gold chevron, jeez. Really buffing out up those guys. And there you go. That's surrounding there by the elves. 
has broken that unit of Loki Rim Macemen. And they've, they're beating these elves here. I think there might have been a little bit of a push through there. Like this Loki Rim Macemen unit might have pushed through to get to the spear unit to try and save its sword. But uh, it's, it's losing decisively, so that's what happens when you pull through, I guess. You've got the karma. Noldorian archers here, holding the line. All these archers are going to do is slow down the foray troops, allow like their other troops to just like take out everything over there by like, breach, and they'll be fine. Just slow them down. And that's what they're kind of doing. Now they're sending their Loki room back the way they came. This unit's just getting so confused, and you can see why it's losing decisively. I mean, this unit's winning decisively. I mean, it's looking pretty good for the elves so far. The attackers have still got. I haven't got much in the way of infantry. They've got a lot of bows. They've got a lot of cav. They're going to have to do their cav well to get some good charges off. Like this cav here should now go and route these elves. Go in through this gap. There's two elven archers here without ammo routed. I mean, that is a good thing for uh, the attackers. It doesn't look like the elves have any ammo left. I mean, they've still got some elite units of shipwright nobles back here, which if you haven't seen Linden already, I don't know what you're doing with your lives. But uh, here's what they look like, these shipwright nobles. Just get like, so you can see them like, front on. They, there you go, sort of look. They do look excellent in their silver armor. You know when an army's made up of golden armored troops, the silver armor boys are the best. The best boys. But I mean, I wouldn't even bother flanking this unit. Like, that is, oh, that's not going to be good though. Whatever that was. Oh, actually no, they captured it through taking the gate. So there wasn't anything up there to die. But still, this... This shock infantry here should really break through these um, this Noldorian spear without even needing the cav flanking. I would get the cav out, charge into these uh, archers, then go into the next one. And go and support over here, because if you can uh, free up all this infantry, you're in a good spot. The elves are still looking the wrong way. That's how much they don't care about these uh, Loki Rim. They're not even a threat to them. They can look the wrong way. But no, I mean, seriously, the guy might want to turn his spears around. That is, uh, not, it's not healthy for them. Uh, but there you go, yeah, he pulled, he, uh, just came out of that combat there. Didn't pull out, he just, uh, like, he had, he was in the back of them so he could charge in front of these guys. And he's routing these, uh, archers nicely. That was a full unit of archers and it's already down to 50 men. Um, it's going to be the same over here, you imagine this, uh, Varag. Uh, Lance one will do the same, heavy spear cavalry. I imagine it should probably just go into the back of uh, the archers here, support this general. Free them up. Over here, though. Not looking good. Why did they send the crossbows in through the gate? They just died. Went in and died. Um, Yeah, I don't know if this Sizengard player is like a newbie or something like that. But he's having a, made some interesting decisions. Like, he did okay to start with. Like, Mordor Rabble in the Rams. And, like, Shock Infantry like against Spears. Then he's, like, blobbed up there. And he sent his archers in just to fight spears, which is never going to work. But he's finally won on this side. But look how many, like, dead Urukai there are. It's just, uh... Don't think it was worth it. The payoff to kill one unit of swords and lose so many uh, swords of your own was probably not worth it. But they can now go and fight these Noldorian archers. But actually, I would put good money on the Noldorian archers to do well. And look at that! More men dying. That's actually probably going to rout all those units because, yeah, that probably just routed everything up there. Yeah, that's just not good. All those units, which are actually, they some of them were okay. I definitely would be putting money on the, these archers to win now. Because they've just killed themselves. Idiots. It's the only thing I hate about towers and Tiller, that they destroy and kill them. So the attackers just kind of like, they're going to lose men from taking the tower, basically. I don't think that's right. Um, but yeah, this uh, Urukai infantry down here is actually winning decisively somehow be whilst being surrounded. I mean, it is swords being surrounded by spears, I guess, so it's not like the worst encirclement in the world and the archers attacking their uh, just archers. But they could definitely do with sending the cav up here. Good to see like all the cav here is doing really good jobs routing all this stuff here. Um, they finally freed up this bit here. I mean, these archers, I think, did just about enough. There's still Varig warriors here with plenty of troops. 
We still got yet. Yeah. Okay, this is good. This is going to be a good charge. Very good lances. I'm sure they're going to go into the back of those guys in the uh, in the uh, breach there, in the gate breach. Or maybe they're going to go for those ones over there. Ah, yes. That might be a better idea. Free up their Isengard ally. Can get that unit out of there and survive. And yeah, go after these uh, spears. Good charge here would be good. Here we go. Was okay. Uh, they, I mean, they did form shield wall even though they were looking the wrong way. Um, but they don't want to keep them in combat for too long. I mean, that spear unit is losing. But, I mean, you don't want to keep the cavalry in there too long. Fighting spears is uh, never a healthy get option for spear uh, for cavalry, sorry. And there you go. They're pulling out. And uh, I would probably, if I was you, I'd go for this spear unit here. Just break this. You can free up all these guys. Then they can go and help support this fight here. They need more infantry in that fight. But, I mean, it is looking close. The elves are now pretty short. All of a sudden, they have... Uh, I mean, they're all quite concentrated in some areas. It's high concentration of elves. Those, how are these archers losing? Like, these guys have been through so much of these white hand stormers. They've been fighting on the walls. They've then lost so many comrades when the, when the walls fell. Um, or the tower fell. And now they're fighting these guys, these elven archers. Which there's more elven archers, I'm pretty sure. And they're more well trained, you could say. They live longer. And these orc, and these uh, Urukai are going to win it. They are white hand stormers though, I guess. So they are shielded. Yeah, both are winning decisively. Madness. Madness. But yeah, the uh, Varaglans is going to carry on charging these Noldorian spears, it would seem. I wouldn't even entertain it. I mean, the other one, yeah, okay. So the general did charge in here, freeing up these guys. And now, these archers up here, uh, these uh, guys up here are going to be freed up. This is a really good angle for archers though. I mean, they're now focusing down everything back here. So everything in this blob here. So this is a real issue here. I would probably fall back. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. The Elves have got so little left. They've got shipwright nobles. They've got... Yeah, just shipwright nobles and some Noldorian spears. Which are desperately trying to get back. But it could be... Could come down to anything. I mean, Isengard's got like no morale. It's got no men as well. Um, there's only a couple of decent units like Varag Warriors over there. There's some warrior, uh, Warlords of Rune, sorry. That are of like gold chevron and fresh. But there's not much left. And there we go. Here come the cavalry into the back. And there you go. Flattened. And that is going to just finish any sort of uh, defense that there was over here. Yeah, they're breaking. Uh, there's one Noldorian sword in there. This is just how mad the elves are. Two. There's literally three men holding back all these guys. It's how mad Rise of Mordor can get sometimes. But they are eventually going to break. And there you go. Wavering. Gone. And there's one Noldorian sword in there. Come on, Barry. You can do it. Barry the Elf's uh, been reincarnated. Oh, no. It was Barry the Eastling, wasn't it, last time? Clive. Clive the, uh, the Elf, we'll call him. I don't know. He's... he's why celebrate? He's still in there. Clive will kill men. If I can find him. There he is. He's taking lives and he's dead. There you go. RIP Clive. Greatest loss of uh, 2020 really. No, that's a joke. Obviously. Um, but yeah, okay. So what have we got here then? We've got Noldorian archers. Two men just like fighting out. I mean, they could just pile on through but yeah over here it's looking like with the uh, cavalry that they have left uh, for the enemy they are like with the evil forces they are starting to like pull off some nice charges and free up some ca uh, free up infantry but I mean they don't even need to fight this like these spears will just die might as well just go up maybe scout what's up here I imagine that's what they're gonna do go and scout have a look do these towers work they do work oh yeah holding at these areas might not want to assault here I want to come around here. Because uh, this... I don't know why they're not holding here. This is a much better place to hold. Because, um, like, then instead of here. That ship right nobles. Because then you can at least use the towers again. Because otherwise, they can just come all the way around here. Go up the tower, uh, like, through there. And just get to the... Uh, capture the towers. But I'm going to make a quick cut. Because I imagine that the uh, evil forces now are going to regroup. Uh, before they reassault. It does look like the general is just going to have a quick scout. We'll just see what he's going to do. If he, does he dare charge? Surely he doesn't dare charge. 
you're surely just going to see the spears in this wall and go, oh, no, not for me. No? Oh, gosh, he's seriously going to charge in. Okay, it does look like he's going to charge in. Uh, the cut may be delayed. Uh, yeah, he's going to focus down here by it. Uh, no, there you go. He's not charging in. Okay, so yeah, I will make a cut now, uh, and I will see you guys in a moment. So we are back. It wasn't a long cut, um, but, I mean, it looks like Isengard's been given the uh, dirty job of being the first one in, uh, which is no surprise. His troops are, well, on the verge of wavering most of the time. As it's like just one unit of Urukai. Oh! One unit of Urukai infantry and two White Hand Stormers. But, I mean, yeah, I, I, there's, there's not many of them left. There's just about 70 men. So, I mean... Yeah, these guys are probably going to break pretty soon. I think, yeah, so we've got the Loki room at Archers now coming up. Uh, all that's basically happened was the cavalry just went around and just scouted to see whether there's any choke points open. And you can see the elves have done a bit of moving, so you have now got the shipwright nobles up here. Uh, the general's now being freed up. He's not defending a choke point. Uh, yeah, it does look like, well, yeah, there's not much left. I'm going to say... I'm not sure. I have not seen the end of this. Uh, it's 3-1 to one to the uh, in favour of the, uh, well, the forces of evil. I'm going to say the elves have got this. I'm going to confidently say the elves have got this. It's the shipwright nobles to start with. They've still got their general. There's going to have to be some serious, uh, like, focusing down of arch with archers. Um, like, if they're going to, like, deplete their numbers. Like, some serious focusing down. Why can they even, like, set up their archers? Maybe here? Except their archers maybe back there, focus onto the back of these guys, but like hardly. You need to certainly get some shock up here and do some damage to these Noldorian uh, spears. But yeah, here comes some uh, Loki Rim. They're gonna help bulk out the lines. The Loki Rim are like, we want to retake Harad's homeland for our eastern brothers. Yeah, both these factions are very much geographically, or all these factions geographically should not be in Harad, but... I mean, it's a good excuse to show off the Harad map. I mean, it's been around quite a while, but I've not really had an opportunity to uh, use it because, obviously, you kind of just end up assaulting a wall and it's pretty easy to defend, unless it's like a a 2v1 in, for instance. A 2v1 certainly makes Harad, does Harad good justice. But yeah, we've got uh, archers firing here. I presume they're fire focusing down the general yet. Um, no surprise there at all, really. I imagine they'll do some HP damage. But I'd really start focusing down these uh, spears. If you can break through a choke point somewhere, the rest of them become redundant and this cav gets freed up again. And the cav's going to be what wins it. Um, they've got more archers back here, but I would not be opposed to sending up all the archers. They've got Varag warriors back here. Send them up as well. Just send up everything. Is the warriors a rune in here? Because they die. I swear they had, like, a gold chevron warriors of rune, or is that the... Ah, the warlords rune, sorry. And there it is. This unit here, I think, is going to be huge. They cannot let this unit get wasted. These two units... I said these two units go up after... Oh, gosh. Go up after this choke point here. Focus a couple down so they can't, uh, can't send troops everywhere. And there you go. The uh, general's moving off. He's taking a bit of damage, but not masses. Still got a bit of Isengard left. The dregs of the what remains of Saruman's great army. But it is coming down to the East men in the East. Here we go. The Shipwrights Nobles are going in already. Is, that, is it that much of a concern? Uh, the Elves are still doing okay. They've lost 18 men. I'm sure they killed just as many. But yeah, they're going to send their reserves in there. Whether that was a smart idea, I don't know. But I'd certainly start focusing down this line now. The general's here. Focus this line down and support your infantry because, well, looking at numbers, like most of these units are less than 10. Uh, Loki are in breaking. Yeah, it's just like absolute pitiful numbers in there. 
But here we go. We've got archers coming around. We've got warlords of ruin coming around. It'll be interesting. Here comes the general. Is he actually going to charge into this uh, line? I think he might. I think he's going to. No, he's just going to keep an eye on these guys. He's like, you still here? Damn it, you are. Oh, now we get shot and we have to run away. Oh, okay, so the uh, Varig Lancers did la uh, charge in. Um, that might be, uh, they actually didn't kill anyone. Wow. They did not kill a single shipwright noble. And there you go, routed. Routed. Yeah, get these archers pinned. Start focusing these guys down at point blank range. More stuff wavering here. Looks like it's uh, Urukai. Well, Wyan Stormers. No surprise there. But yeah, I don't think the general needs to be in here. I think he's, they're doing just fine with the spears here. I mean, their shock infantry. Can, even the shock infantry that's in here is losing. But yeah, if they send up more, that might help. 108 men. The general's got in. Okay, how has that happened? The general is inside the walls. Did he just, like, pull through? Or did he knock down the line? I don't know. But he's inside. Lost a lot of men doing it. He's going to charge into the back of these bending the steps. They need to send up shock to help just sandwich this unit. So they're going to turn around and face the general. Now fire archers. Don't charge in with the general. Don't charge in. Oh, they're getting focused down, though. They can capture the point, then the towers will kill a lot of these elves. Interesting to see. Some good volleys here. No one dead, though. Good. I mean, it's good play with his uh, cavalry, even if he did pull it through. I'm not sure, but there you go. The charge has gone in. He's got one man. He did a bit better than the, uh, the spears. But he needs to be careful. He needs to send up infantry ASAP. There's cavalry left in there too long. And being shot by his own troops is uh, not healthy. And there you go. More shipwright nobles in here. And it's a sea of silver. Yeah, they, they've got to be wavering and gone. Yeah, wavering. That's I'm going to say that's it for the uh, forces of evil. No general. Fighting elves. Oh, no. The general did get out. Wow. Two men left. No right to. At least that's depleted their cavalry resource to absolutely nothing. To two men. They've got archers left. Uh, they killed like 15. No, more than that. 25 men. So they did okay, but I mean, could do better. I mean, they're going to focus down these shipwright nobles like no man's business now. But yeah, over here you can see, I mean, these shock infantry are just having no luck. I don't even know where they can sell parts, so that would be really good to fire from. Like over here is possibly the best angle. You need to get inside the walls, really. It's a shame that, like, down here isn't accessible, unless it is. Oh, it might be. Uh, I don't know, you might get the unit stuck after. Who knows? But it might be worth a try. You could certainly uh, try and get your unit... Like down there somewhere, and you could then just fire into the back of these spears, or into the back of these uh, shipwright nobles. We're still losing men. I just like to say, still losing men, but not many. Um, but I am just going to quickly fast forward because we are getting to the end of the siege, and it is getting on a little bit. As we, it's really just this choke point here. The other side is just shipwright nobles being shot every so often. But it certainly has been an epic one. It we've had cav. Uh, Sally's. We've had some very nice wall action. We've had uh, some choke points. It's been very good and it's come down to the very last few units. How the general for these things is still alive is beyond me. But that he is, is keeping the uh, well, it's keeping them in, in the game really. Uh, the general's getting focused on this isn't the general, it's the, one of the other units. It's going to focus down a little. Yeah, this Warlord's Rune unit's got to go in soon. 111 against 94. We'll, let's watch this uh, take place. There we go. 
They break through the line as some troops inside. Yeah, I mean, they've lost a few. I still think. I don't know. I still think the elves got it. Yeah. Spears winning over here. Now with these shipwright nobles here. I mean, a lot of them are bloodied up. Which kind of looks quite cool. It's got like a weird, like, checker uh, pattern going on. But yeah, I mean. I bet they've been doing as much damage with those arrows as they have done, like, to their own side as they have done to the enemy. It looks like the case. But, I mean, these warlords are ruined. They're actually losing. Wow. A triple gold chair on warlords are ruined. I'm sure, like, the uh, parents, well, like, the evil faction were so unhappy here. Like, it's like, what are we supposed to do? General getting focused down, not a bad idea. Unlikely you'll kill him. But yeah, like, this is probably your one of your best units, the shock opportunity here. And it's losing. I mean, in fairness to the best elven unit. The best, well, Linden elven unit. They do look excellent to these uh, Warlords of Rune. Oh, chopped down. Doesn't help that the uh, towers are still active as well for the uh, runic for uh, for like the Linden forces. But yeah, there you go. More shooting. I mean, I don't think they kill a single elf there. Yeah, not a single elf was killed in the making of that volley. Ridiculous. But yeah, I'm gonna say that's it. That yeah, they've won on this side. They've routed everything. It's just archers left really, and that uh, warlord's room, which is losing. So well done to the elves. Uh, they came back from what was a very, very rough spot, really, to go on and win this. And the elves are still undefeated in, uh, well, in Rise of Mordor and all the battles that I've shown. Will they ever get defeated? Who, who knows? I mean, they are very beatable. Um, but it's just, will, will, will we see it in a replay? But yeah, here we go. The uh, Elves is mopping up the last of the archers, really, so they shouldn't really cause too much of an issue. Yeah, losing decisively. Oh, this one's this one's only in fighting because of this random uh, shipwright in here. He kind of overstepped the mark here. He's just chopping men down still. He doesn't mind. There's 150 men here that could just kill him. There we go. Finally, someone killed that man. But yeah, I mean, these uh, shipwright nobles still doing their bit. I mean, the Noldorian spears here doing theirs. Uh, archers are losing. There you go. I mean, I don't know how these Noldorians uh, got through, but... Because that unit hadn't broken. But again, I guess pull through. If they did it, then the elves can do it. Not that it really matters at this point. There's no need to. Loki Rim. Still, well, just about alive. But I mean, they're going to die in a moment. Losing decisively. Where's the general? Is he in here? He's coming with his two men. His two men gold chevron. And that's really going to be it. The archers going to retreat. Jeez. They're really that desperate to try and win. I mean, it is still quite close. But, I mean, looking at balance power now. The uh, the elves are very, very close. And they've got very strong units. And there you go. They're catching up with these elves. Oh, the elves. The uh, Eastlings, sorry. And there we go. That is, that is going to probably just wrap this up. Last final fight, hey? Just just don't run anymore. And there we go. A period victory for Linden as uh, he defeats two armies of evil. So we'll have a quick look at the end result. So thank you for Boris for sending this in. Um, Mythic and uh, Heads for playing as well. I mean, uh, Heads had a pretty rough time playing as Isengard. I do feel for him a little bit. Um, but, I mean, he did, did very well still. Um, but, yeah, so we'll have a look at the uh, end result. So, I mean... We've got Shipwright Nobles here, 237 uh, expected. We've got 315 here with these Noldorian swords. I think the best one there, there's quite a few on 200s. So that is by far the best one. Uh, spears here, 233. Archers, 178 is by far the best one. And the Cav, 285 uh, is the best unit there. So well done to Boris. He got some very good kills here. The Mythic Yeet, who was playing as Rune, 183 with his General. Um, and then he got 100, 230 there with a Loki Rim Maceman, 120 with his Varag Warriors, 
Um, his wards ruined here with so many gold troubles, only getting 93 kills is a real shame. His low key remarks getting 105, and his barrier glance is getting 98. Then heads, uh, who is playing as Isengard. I just wouldn't bother to bring a mortal rabble. Just bring just another unit of infantry or something like that. Uh, combined together, bring something a bit better. Or to bring scouts. I don't know exactly what the money was, but it was worth it. I don't know whether bringing these sappers. It certainly helped to start with this. Four they got 59 kills. Did excellent, but I mean, like. They just got focused down. It's better just bring something a bit, bit, bit different. And these are catapults. I don't know if they were really worth it either. Um, but yeah, so he uh, had a pretty rough timer. He's Urukai, 133, best one there. Uh, his Berserkers, I'm a bit, a bit of a shame they didn't get more kills. Um, they kind of got focused down on that choke point. His Pikes only getting 12 kills, real shame. They could have been very useful late game against those elves. And uh, his crossbows going and getting like 31 kills. And yeah, as I already mentioned, 59 for the white hand sappers. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed them, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment, show your support if you'd like to see more Rise of Mordor content. And until next time, Legionnaires.